Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to show you a quick setup of MicroTik. It's very simple to configure MicroTik, particularly if you use quick setup. This one enables you to use the MicroTik to serve as a router. It's very simple to do that. So the first thing that you're going to do is that you are, you are going to do a manual, a manual reset. How do you do a manual reset? It's very simple. You remove the power button like that when you remove the power button so you press the reset button you hold down the reset button then when you hold down the reset button you insert the the battery the nini the power then you count 12 times you count the 12 times or you hold the reset button for like just for a minute then from there you open your win box so if you don't know what a win box is a win box is just it's just a login mechanism and if you don't have any if you don't have a, a win box i'll give you a description down so that a link down there so that you can you can just follow it and you log in so so you open your win box so you come to your inbox, run your inbox. Okay, I'm seeing that it has come to MAC address and also there is IP00. So that's what I wanted. So that I can log in. Then you just connect like that. Then, for you to do a quick setup, it's very simple. You reset it again, but you make sure that you maintain, you maintain the default setup which is there, which originally comes with the micro -tick. And how, how are you going to know that's the original setup? The original setup normally comes with 192.168.88.1. So I just reset it again. But now I keep the user configuration. So that's a different. The first one I did so that I can log in into the micro team. Now the second one I'm doing so that I can retain the original configuration of the micro tick. I reset it like that. Then when you reset it, you click again the win box, you wait for it to come. So, it has not come, so I just, I come to system, then I, okay. So I open the win box. Run the inbox. I wait for like two minutes so that it can come to 88.1. You'll, you'll see the IP which is going to identify. So you give it like just a minute, waiting for it so that it can come. So I'm seeing that it has bling and it has stopped. Okay, it has come. So you are seeing now is 192.168.88.1. So I just click the get the MAC address. Then I don't remove the configuration. I maintain and I click OK. So that's a different. This one is you are doing a quick setup. Very simple. So I just come to quick setup. Then from the quick setup, I make sure that here, here is supposed to be home AP. Normally, if you reset it from default, if you reset it and you remove the setup, it will come as CPE. But if you don't, if you maintain the configuration, it comes as a home AP. Then, if it was original, if it was, if if I could have reset it using the other setup, then you'll find that here the frequency. The frequency is supposed to be auto. That number two. So I just change first the name of the SSID. So I write Manu Josh Tech. Like that. From there, the frequency is supposed to be auto. Country just leave it there. Like as simple as that. Then 
the Wi-Fi password, you can change the Wi-Fi password. Like the Wi-Fi password, I put it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0, okay, 8, 9. That is the Wi-Fi password. Okay, then I come to, there's, an, there's nothing you, you touch there. Either if you want a guest network, you can allow and also, if you allow the guest network, you can even, you can have the password and you can also put the speed. But with me, I don't allow, I don't want the guest network. So that one is a topic for another day. So I come to internet. You can acquire internet either by static, automatic or PPOE. But most of the time, with me, I'm acquiring, I'm, I'm acquiring net automatically. So I just leave it automatically. Then I come and change the IP. 88 is normally very common, so I just put something which is a bit technical, like let's say we put something like 60, 69. So 192.168.69.1. Make sure when you change there, you have to come and change here, the IP range. And you make sure that the DHCP server is, is ticked. From here, you can also change the, the net mask. But the normal net mask is 55.0, just 255.255.255.0. Then I think the, the DNS server already is ticked. When you will see the difference between when you do it with quick setup and when you do by removing the configuration. If you remove the configuration, everything becomes zero and you start afresh. So if you know the if you know the quick setup, it's very easy to relate with the other one. Very easy. So, I change that to be 69. 69 the range. So, you'll see that the range is 192.168.69.10. Then it goes up to 54. So, here I just change 69. The main reason why I have maintained the setup for the microtic, so when you do complete configure, when you do complete reset by which it becomes zero, the IP becomes zero, you are the one to put the IP. So in, the, in my next video, you will see the difference between the quick setup and the manual setup. There are two different. So quick setup is very easy, and the one which if you you don't want a lot of things, it's just very easy to use a quick setup because everything is just there. Then I just put the password. There's nothing I am changing there. I just put the login password. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the login password. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then I apply and I say okay. From there, I just come and reboot it. System. I come to system. System and reboot. I reboot it. So, it's very simple to configure MicroTrick with quick setup. Then, from there, we'll come to manual setup. So, if you know the quick setup, for manual, it's very simple. Also, because it's just you are just repeating the same thing. So, if I give it internet, I have to give it internet and see if it's going to give me internet. Because I've just put it to obtain the IP automatically. Let me check if my adapter option is automatic. So it's still rebooting. It's, a, it's, a, it's identifying. Property, let me check if my adapter option is. Okay, it's automatic, so I expect it to pick. So already you are seeing it's having internet. It's giving me internet. So. Let me let, let refresh it. Let me refresh it back and see the IP. You are seeing even the IP which it has obtained. It has obtained that IP. 
So if I log in, so you are seeing it's 69. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I don't know the login password. So I can log in either by MAC address or IP. So you are seeing already I'm inside. So if you come to interface, you check. It's, internet is going through. So if I run the speed test, if I run the speed test, fast.com fast.com you will find that I expect to be around around let us see because it's just an open network so I'm expecting 40 mpps yeah so you are seeing what is happening that's what I expect so I expect it to be 40 mpps yeah that's the net which I'm normally using so you are seeing so please Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. My next video, I'll be doing setting up of the microtic by after resetting everything. So I have to remove and the microtic remains empty. Yeah. So otherwise, subscribe to my channel. Keep watching. Keep sharing and comment. Thumbs up.